seal test, the name that means topmost quality. In ice cream, milk, and other dairy products, presents Burr Tilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kuklapolitan players, with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. I was holding still all the time. Hold still. Not too short. <laughs> I'm not cutting it short. You want a crew cut, don't you? Not a whole crew cut. Wait till it gets a little warmer. I just want a half a crew cut. Which half? Oh, crew cut. Sharpen your shears and pull my hair. Look, I'm doing this for you for nothing. You're saving a dollar and a quarter. Now relax. <laughs> you want a shampoo? Well, I don't know. Well, your hair is very dry. It's the winter. It's a long winter. Well, you really, really should do something. Well, I don't know. What should I do, Pooh? Is it really very dry? Well, it looks like it. Is it thin? <laughs> no, it's about the same, I think, as it was. Maybe going back a little bit at the temples. Oh, no, no. Not at the temples. Well, better at the temples than at the base of the skull, believe me. <laughs> Who should know better than me? I. Oh, do you know better? No. Hold <laughs> well, still. I haven't moved once. Why do you say hold still? An old barber habit. It feels good to <laughs> We really should have an oil shampoo, you know. Or an egg shampoo. Egg shampoo? Yeah. What's that like? Well, you break an egg on the, in your head, and then you scramble it. <laughs> oh, cool. No, I don't know exactly what an egg shampoo is. I think you mix it in with a... Soap or something. We'll have to ask Fran about that. I don't know really. But I think maybe a, a good brisk. You should you should rub your hair, your scalp, make it move. Now don't just knead the hair like that. You should make the whole scalp move when 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 you when you massage it. Like how? Like this. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, that feels good. Mm. That's that. Loosens the scalp, brings the blood tingling to your skin. Oh, tingle, tingle, tingle. There. Wait, I have to see how it looks. You want it slipped down, or shall I comb it dry? Well, let's see how it looks dry. I don't know. What do you think? Well, see. I get parted right down the middle? Let's try it. Okay. <laughs> Mother always told me to take lovely care of my hair. She said, well, I remember as a young dragon, and I was sitting by her knee, I, I used to look up at her and she'd rub my head and she'd say, Oliver, you're blessed with something that many girls would like to have. Beautiful, luxurious, fine hair. You must always take care of it. She said, you know, lots of, uh, lots of uh, little girls would give anything to have your lovely hair and to have your lovely eyelashes. She said, take care of it very well. So I always have. And I'm so awfully glad that I have you, little buddy, to help me. <laughs> How is it? Brush. I don't can't get it parted in the middle right. Your hair is so fluffy now since I massaged it. 
Oh, that feels good. You should do this every night before you go to bed. It'll wake me up. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> How do I look? Oh, I don't know. You, you, you can put makeup on, on your eyes and kind of be a, a new doe-eyed look. <laughs> you think so? Sort of wide-eyed and, and real uh, kind of uh, startled, like a fawn? Yeah, that'd be nice. I think that would go well. We, we could cut your hair, we'd brush your hair right straight back like that. Keep it real short and kind of straight back like that. <laughs> now, let's see. <laughs> Carol Channing. <laughs> you curl your eyelashes like that. <coughs> How do I look? Well, I'll let you see. It's a magnifying side, isn't it? No, it's a back. Oh. <laughs> Fran, have you got another mirror? Yes. Could you bring it over? I'd like to see the back of my head. Sure. Looks nice from the front, too. Mm. <laughs> Little cold cream on it. Hello, Cook. Hi, friend. We're having a haircut. What fashion. happened to you? <laughs> I had my haircut. All of it? No. Just I just had it a little shorter for the summer. You look like you've been in a horrible high wind. <laughs> <laughs> it really looks like no. no it look, looks pretty good, don't you think, Fran? Well, I cut it. Everybody to his own opinion, huh? Wait. Wait. Hold still, both of you. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Wait a minute, I'll look in here. What's wrong with that mirror? I look so big. What's well, a big size? Oh. <laughs> Let's see. I guess that'll do, Coop. I think I'd like it. Wouldn't you like it slicked down? I like them slicked down. You and Micah? I don't care much for it. I always thought of you as a casual type of, you know, sort of like you do. What do you think of me as? Well, I thought of you more as a pompadour type today. Pompadour casual. Which shall it be? Well, would you like to try kind of slick down? It, what is it now? It, well, it's, it's, it's high, it's bad in the back, it's a bad line. I think I might... Don't do. cut anymore, Coop. No, I wouldn't uh, cut anymore, either. Want to shave? Want to shave? No, no, Coop. I wish you'd do something about the hairs down the back, though. They're terrible. On second thought, you are a fine pair. Paying attention to your personal appearance when I, I thought we were going to house clean today. Oh, no, that was yesterday. Well, we didn't finish. Finish what? What we started. Oh, well, I'll get to my room later. It, it, it won't take much. Besides, I want to live with that color for a while before I paint the rest of the walls. Well, if you can live with that, <laughs> you're a better man. Yeah. Oh, ready? Yeah. <laughs> better? Mm -hmm. Does that feel better? Oh, wonderful. I didn't know you could even cut hair. Really, I didn't. Cook. Well, I don't do it professionally. I just sort of go at it. I learned a little bit from people who taught me a little bit. Mm hmm See, you saved quite a bit today, didn't you? Yeah. Tip and all? Yeah, buck and a quarter. You bet. And plus tip. You can't just leave a ten-cent tip with a dollar and a quarter, either. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> oh, well, you can, but then you wouldn't be very welcome when you went back again. Well, yeah. I have work to do, whether but you two are... Oh, don't house clean today. Well, yes, I came prepared for it, and I'm going to do it. Oh, dear. I'm going to... I'm not satisfied with my hair yet. Oh, but could I show you something? Wait just a minute. Why? Right. Coop, take my towel off, will you, please? I want you to see this, because you love poetry so. My day is made complete had two poems from Diane Ebersole. 
You want to hear this one? Me? Well, you'd like it, too. I think. Do you want to hear it? Yes, I'm listening. Well, listen to your poem. Well, are you going to send an autographed photograph? Because, you know, we always do to, uh, to the person who writes an original, 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 original poem, and then we read it on the air. Well, I'll send one, mm -hmm. sure. All righty. All right. This is entitled, The Zoo. Mm -hmm. I'll just listen. Come now. Let's go to the zoo. Mm -hmm. Hear those lions roar at you. Mm -hmm. Oh, here are the snakes in their pen. It must be awful to be cooped up in a den. Here are the seals, shiny and black. Oh, all right, seals, we'll come back. Here are the zebras, black and white. They look like a peppermint stripe. Come now, we'll come back another day. But now it's time to hit the hay. Isn't that a nice poem? That's lovely. Now, this is even nicer. Fast, direct, and good meter. I thought so. This one is going in... descriptive. In... Well, I thought... Going into the woods, this is. Oh, that's nice. Going into the woods is fun, is fun. To see the does run and to hear the squirrels chatter. Oh, my, what a clatter. And the monkeys jumping from tree to tree. Oh, it's fun to see. Come now, it's time to go home, and I'll just buy you one more ice cream cone. Isn't that a beautiful <laughs> poem? That's lovely. Well, I thought it was. Who is that from? Diane Ebersole. Where about? She lives in Bayside uh, uh, Village, no, Bay Village, Ohio. Oh, yeah. And she, remember she wrote and described her house oh, to me? Oh, yeah. And all her family? Yeah, and the town in which she lives? Well, we should send her an autograph photo. Well, I will. I'll take care of it now. Already. Cool, I like my hair a little slicker. Okay. Isn't that somebody's drinking water? It was. for my hair, is it, too? Oh, it won't hurt, I don't think. Not now, because it's warm on everything. Are you putting water on your hair? I'm not cool kids. <laughs> Let me hear just one sneeze out of you. <laughs> it's all right. Cook says it's warm enough now. I think it's all right. Don't you think so, Fran? I don't know. You know how sensitive he is. Oh, yeah. Oh, Phil. Say that to me again, I'll scream. Hold still. <laughs> there, that's nice. How you like this, Brian? Ollie. Very nice. You promised me that you wouldn't do that anymore. You'd never part your hair in the middle. Why didn't you like it part in the middle? Well, because it, it just isn't you. Well, it is to me. No, it isn't either. It's little old me, and here I am. No, it isn't. Yes, it is me. No, it's not. How either. can I prove that it's me? I've got the proof somewhere that it's me. Let me see. Well, uh, I'll take the hairbrush out of there. All right. And I'll prove that it's me. I'll be right back. All right. No! <laughs> Go no farther. I know who it is. Sometimes it gets me down, you know? My old trouble. It's terrible. It's terrible. It keeps swallowing things all the time. I know. My old trouble is part of me. That troublesome trouble I'm feeling here in the heart of me. I'd conquer it if I could, but I am not made of wood. I'm fighting against my fate, but helplessly I await. My old trouble, my mystery. For without a warning it happens, striking so suddenly. I open my mouth and then <laughs> it's happened again. Going down, 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 deep down inside of me. I swallow my pride again. In fact, I swallow anything when 
my old, 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 old trouble is back with me. Just while we have him. Just save him. <laughs> oh. oh, you let your hair dry out. We'll brush it up. Get under the dryer. Okay. And don't open your mouth, Paul. You have to get another dryer. Well, there are lots of things to do today. I know that because we have some mail to answer and there's some uh, poems that I want to select. And uh, oh, there was something very special too. I got, I got a letter today from uh, the Eugene Field School in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Some friends of ours up there, and they've been doing a lot of research these students up there, and uh, they, they, they said something to me, they said, you know, uh, they said, Kukla, we're having kind of a little bit of trouble because a lot of our friends, a lot of our friends in school uh, don't do their homework. Well, that's pretty serious because it seems that they spend most all their time when they should be doing the homework walk, watching television, which is uh, really not the right way to do it. You really should get your homework done first. And then, uh, see, television is kind of a dessert. Besides, it's much more fun to watch a show. I always think, maybe I'm wrong, after you've gotten all your chores done, because you don't sit there kind of on needles and pins wondering if you'll ever get it done, and you usually don't get it done either. So uh, I hope that uh, all our friends everywhere do try to get their homework done first. And, uh, I've always tried to, to, to encourage Mercedes to do that sort of thing. Because Mercedes, you know, uh, Mercedes still goes to school, and she is um, perhaps our problem child in a sense, because she's not, shall we say, the brightest girl in her class. <laughs> uh, we've celebrated two graduation days, I believe, or three, for Mercedes. Each one was uh, when she graduated from the third to the fourth grade. <laughs> I imagine this year we'll go through the same routine. You were maligning my character. I was what? Maligning my character, whatever that means. I read it. Did you get your homework done today? Mm-hmm. You did? Mm-hmm. Well, that's fine. That's just great. You can have a big surprise. I want to talk to Miss Allison right now, if I could, please. Well, I'll call her in for you. Fran? Yes? A little friend wants to speak to you. You'll excuse me? Certainly. What did you do? Nothing, nothing. What is it, Mercy? Hmm? Oh, hello, Miss Allen. <laughs> How are you? Well, fine. You're very formal today. Well, I feel very happy today. Well, I'm glad to know that. But I wanted you to do a favor for me. Well, if I can, Mercedes, I will. Did you see the little uh, Kukla and Ollie spoon set? Oh, aren't they attractive? The ones that, that the field test ice cream are sending out? Yes, I saw them. Liked them very much. I like them, too, and I want to get some. Well, you know uh, how to do it, don't you? Well, not exactly, and I thought I don't want to make any mistake about how to get them, so I thought maybe I'd ask you to sort of review the case with me. Well, I'd be happy to do that. Or uh, we, we really have someone who is a very exceptional authority on that. Well, let me go through it first. All right. Or shall we let him do it first, and then, then we go through the routine? Well, I think sometimes that that's a, a better thing to do. Well, do it anyway, whichever you think you'd learn the better by. Well, I just as soon, I just as soon, I'll experiment and see if I have it right. All right. I, oh, oh, by the way, which, which spoon set shall I send for? I'm only going to send for one at a time this time, I think. Well, uh, you've known Kukla longer. Why don't you send for Kukla first and then send for Ollie's uh, later? They're awfully cute. Oh, they're Have you seen them? Yes. <laughs> Maybe I could see them again. I wonder where they're around here. So they're, oh, there they are. Aren't they cute? Mm. There's a Kukla set on the left. That's three spoons and, and one, or one spoon of which is a little Kukla spoon and the other two are those wonderful simplicity patterns. Mm -hmm. Highest quality silver plate, you know, made yes. by uh, R. Wallace. And yes. Um, well, you have all of that. And the other set is the Ollie set. Now, for each set, now let me see, for each set that you want, oh, I know, you take, you, 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 
steel tip carton. That's right. Yeah, the half gallon carton. The half gallon size of steel tip ice cream. I, I saved that from, from the one that we had last <laughs> night. Well, good for you. And then you take a scissors, don't you, and cut out? Yes. Cut out or trademark. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Where are my, our big scissors? Well, I think I have them, Mercedes. Yeah, Shall I get them? Yes, when you please. You can hardly wait. That's right. Start right here, hmm? Uh huh. <laughs> you bite your tongue when you cut too, don't you? When I get to a place it's a little hard to cut through. I find it works better, don't you? Mm-hmm. How's it coming? Oh, you're almost, I'm almost through. Yeah. Now, when you have this. You need 50 cents, too. Well, you have that, of course. Mm-hmm. I saved it for my allowance. There you are. Wonderful. Maybe we should, now let's review this now, where I said it and everything. Now, let, maybe, uh, who did you say was here to do it? Well, Don Elder is here. Oh, is he here? He knows all about that. Maybe he would tell us right now so that we could put it down the right box, number where to send it, and just what you have to do. Now, let's, let's do it. I think he would. Mr. Elder, sir, please, thank you. Right, Mercedes. You simply cut the seal test trademark from the top of a half-gallon package of ice cream and send it along with 50 cents in coin. Be sure to include your name and address and the set you want, either the Kukla or the Ollie set. Mail to Seal Test, Post Office Box 487, Jersey City 3, New Jersey. You'd better write that down, Mercedes. Mm -hmm. Be sure to send for your spoon set right away. Mm-hmm. Well, that's wonderful. <laughs> I've got it, haven't you got it? Well, I think so. Box number was 487. Mm -hmm. Jersey, Jersey City, City 3. 3, New Jersey. Right. Where else would Jersey City be but in New Jersey? Oh, it could be any place, but I think it's nice that it is there. I think so, Since too. that's where we have to send. Well, all it's right, I'll put it in the envelope and send it away. Do that. Mm -hmm. Nice to see you, Mercedes. Nice to see you, too. Glad you're happy. I am very happy. Can we play Jack's after? Well, it's a little, it's a little late this evening, but I'll, uh, I'll play with you tomorrow. Oh, mm. well, all right. I'll see you after. After what? Just after. That's what I thought. <laughs> Kukla? Oh, dear. oh, help! You! Oh, you are beautiful. Think so, dear? Let me see. Oh, what a stunning creation. I got it from uh, Mrs. William Kelly in, um, oh, dear, I don't know how to pronounce that. Where did I leave that letter? The town. See, how, to, how do you pronounce that? It's right at the bottom there, Mrs. Kelly. Okay. I don't know, but she lives on Market Street. Somewhere in New York. S A U. U G A R T I E R. Parker. I don't know. I E S. I think it is, dear. I E S? Mm hmm. Maybe it is. Well, it's a lovely chapeau, anyway. It's beautiful. I'm going to wear it to the wedding. What wedding? Didn't you get your invitation? Why, well, maybe. I don't think so. Rod McLee's wedding. Oh, that wedding. But are, are we going? I think so. Ophelia! Ophelia, dear! Buell, it just slipped my mind. When was it? It's in, it's in May. May, uh, today's the 16th. I don't know. What? I don't know. When I'm not sure, dear. Are you sure this is May? Well, really, no, I'm not at all sure now that we're in the conversation. Oh, no, in four weeks it won't be May, will it? Well, no. Well, that's what I always say. Ophelia! What do you always say? I always say the same Hello. thing. Hello, Ophelia. Oh, How are you? Dear, I'm fine. Yeah. Carried away, I lost my oh, head. I'd love for you to call me by my first name. Do you will. You mustn't be so formal. Well, I, uh, sorry, I hope I haven't taken too much for granted. Oh, I know, my dear, we're old friends. Yes, really old friends. Well, we're friends. <laughs> anyway. Well, dear, tell us about the wedding. I'm going to sing for it. Are you now? Oh, how wonderful. What are you going to sing? Bass or alto? <laughs> Well, really, honestly, sometimes I think you just don't have a brain you were born with. Well, maybe I do. I'll go see. Oh. <laughs> what, what really are you going to sing? What? You mean what? Well, the I voice or what? No, uh, of course not. I know. Well, I thought I, I have my music all picked out. I'm going to bring it all. I might sing the Carmina Waltz song. Oh, well, not I, at the wedding, I don't think. Oh. Would you? Well, perhaps I should sing, Oh, Promise Me. Oh, well, perhaps. that's always nice. Oh, perhaps, um, 
Hope to do. I hope to do, no. <laughs> Maybe after the reception, but I, I believe I'd stick to the old standard. Mm, well, what about, uh, let's see. I thought I might sing something exciting like uh, the donut song. Or, <laughs> or perhaps I'll sing, uh, uh, perhaps I'll sing something from Aida. Well, that would be nice, too. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it over, dear. I really can't make up my mind now. Our sweet mystery of life is always nice. How, uh, how are you going? Are you going to take the train? Or are you going to fly? Or Isn't it you... here? No, it's in Connecticut. Connecticut? Oh, gracious sakes. What sort of am I going to do? Well, <laughs> you better talk about it. Perhaps, well, perhaps Beulah could arrange transportation. Oh, no. Well, for you, maybe. Not for me. I'll see what I can do with the trains All right, or fine. with the airplanes. <laughs> see you later, dear. Goodbye. <laughs> Cooper? Yes, ma'am. I just haven't done a thing today. Really, I have some things I should be doing. No, you don't. I just started. I don't want you to do anything. Well, I have work to do. I do. You do? Yes, how do I look now? My hair's off. Oh, you just look beautiful. Now, this is the Ollie I really love. This is the Ollie of our pal. A boy with a sweet expression in his That's eyes. That's right. You think so, too? I, I've always had a great feeling about your eyes. They mean a great deal to me. Tell me. I'm looking for a boy with a wistful eye. Oh, I adore a boy with a wistful eye. We looked, and for a second, his lonely eyes beckoned. Then the chance was missed I passed the boy I should have kissed Though I don't know what color his eyes may be I can't forget the way that they looked at me my own all I'm looking for I realize is the boy with the wistful eyes Yeah, I sing a song I wish you would. By the bear. By seal pair. By the best, by seal pair. Ever taste a strawberry, sun drenched and fresh from the vine? Good? You betcha. But here's something even better. Strawberry ice cream, the way Seal Test makes it. Everybody goes for it in a big way. Seal Test strawberry ice cream makes a really special ice cream soda, too. So refreshing, packed with a luscious flavor of red ripe strawberries. And it's mighty wonderful eating just by itself. Ask your Seal Test ice cream dealer for real strawberry ice cream. Buy the best. Buy Seal Test. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie are brought to you by the divisions of National Dairy Products Corporation, makers of Seal Test products. Always look for the name Seal Test. It's your assurance of purity, quality, and fine, rich flavor in ice cream, milk, and other dairy products. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie came to you from Chicago. NBC Television. <laughs>